This is Barbara Ellistad with Mesquite Citizen Journal, and we're here at the Mesquite Fine Arts Gallery um, two days before the new, uh, the new Year rings in, and we're with Linda Foss, who's a member of the Virgin Valley Artist Association and also a featured news reporter for Mesquite Citizen Journal. And she's going to lead us on a little tour of the art exhibit that's coming up in January. And it's a little small, but boy, I'll tell you what, this is fun. What a great exhibit. So tell us about the first piece, everybody's, one of um, everybody's favorite artists because he's so ingenious with his art. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for being here today. Um, this exhibit is called From Trash to Treasures. And uh, we have apparently developed a little bit of a tradition here at the gallery that January is the month to show art made from recycled trash yeah. and turn it into artistic treasures. Okay. Well, uh, this month apparently there wasn't as much trash. Maybe this is a good thing. <laughs> so uh, we do have a really fine exhibit and some wonderful art that certainly is worth taking home with you. Oh. Um, our first piece of artwork is done by John Johnson. You may have heard about John. He was our uh, brown bag speaker for mm -hmm. uh, December. And yeah. he's terrific. Um, he does a lot of different kinds of artwork, but he has become very noted for his statuary that's made out of welded metal, and he incorporates a lot of um, found items. All of these are found someplace or other. But look here. Here's the head of a pick. Um, oh my gosh, yeah. Some pieces of glass. And these are his signature on these uh, sculptings. Here is an old um, oxygen bottle. Oh. With a railroad spike attached. Uh, oh my gosh. Some gears and so forth. So, uh, and of course the bell <laughs> you were very kind. I would have banged it okay, louder. <laughs> well, I don't want to make it too loud. So um, this, is, this is John's signature piece uh, at this particular time in his artistic career. And we thank him for showing us one of his nice, nice uh, Trash to Treasure entries. So, yeah. This um, is so creative. It's just amazing how he can think of taking little pieces and odds and ends and, and making something as beautiful as this piece. Yes, I don't know if you would call this an anthropomorph. It has sort of a human shape to it, but not really. But um, we like what John does. Yeah, he's great. Um, next, here's one of our uh, frequent exhibitors. This is Jan Stensland, and her uh, her entry is called Old Old Glory. Jan is known for being maybe the original uh, recycled uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, artist because she is always finding things that will make terrific um, elements of her new pieces of artwork. You probably see that this once was a Delta Airlines uh, onboard blanket that has been cut into strips and... Yeah. and uh, some old screen, an old piece of pottery, and Jan, Jan really has a knack for making some great new pieces out of her uh, recycled trash. Yeah, this uh, is great. I want this on my patio. I just don't have any room. This is nice. <laughs> Sandy Cooper has found this old table, but it had a completely different top, and she has done a beautiful job of mosaic. This would make either a good indoor or outdoor mm -hmm. table. And um, thank you, Sandy, for really coming along in your artwork. Uh, it's a terrific piece, beautiful luster to the Yeah, the mosaic it's tiles gorgeous. That she used. It's just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I love it. Geraldine's. And it's only, it. by the way, it's only $180, which I think that's why I want it, because it's so inexpensive. That's I think amazing. that's much less than you would normally pay for a, a nice coffee table. Yes. Um, Geraldine Zarati isn't usually known for recycled art, but she's certainly known for her sunflowers. And she, here she has uh -huh. applied her beautiful sunflowers to, um, I'm not sure if this actually was a window frame. She calls it the sunflower shutter. 
Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Geraldine. That it, would be It nice looks like an old well. shutter or old window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it, too. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, here's another piece from Sandy Cooper. Sandy has been able to find some beautiful uh, glass that was washed up on the beach someplace. Yeah. She calls it Saigon glass. I don't know if that's actually where it came from, but um, a beautiful little mosaic mirror. Very, a very nice accent piece for a home. Mm -hmm. Deb Babcock is one of our new uh, potters who's showing things here at the gallery. And she has several pieces. This is called Made from Mud Number 2. And mud being her original uh, element, that would be maybe, uh, <laughs> maybe you could call it trash, but yeah. now it's a beautiful piece of pottery. It is. It's gorgeous. Very well done. I like the little accent pieces. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can turn it all different ways and have a, a new vase every time. Yes, it's a 360 design. Very yeah. nicely done. Yeah. This is fun. Oh, Kathy Ludwig is back. Uh, we're so glad every time Kathy brings us something because it's bound to be colorful and very, uh, very interesting. This is called Goldie, and it's so interesting that it has been sold. Mm -hmm. but our buyer has left it here on display uh, for others to enjoy for the month. Yeah. Uh, Kathy is really a terrific artist, uh, very much into the abstraction. Yeah, Lots she's had a lot of pe uh, pieces before that I've yes, loved. Yes, she has. Yes, yeah. she has. This is great. Isn't this nice? Jean Wench is now really branching out in her artwork. And um, here's a good thing for us. Next Tuesday, Jean is one of our speakers for Brown Bag. Right. And we have seen Jean evolve from doing, I think, strictly watercolors into doing so many genres of art that um, it's great to see her expanding her, her horizons and she's speaking on creativity so yeah I think that yeah the brown bag is January 7th um, it's next Tuesday whatever that day yeah. is and uh, yes first January uh -huh. uh, first at noon Tuesday. in the gallery mm -hmm. yeah first Tuesday uh, this is called life stamps great colors a uh, great form and really a nice piece of artwork from Jean. Yeah, this is so fun. Oh, Sandy Cooper again. Sandy's been busy. Yeah. She started out doing recycled art here at the gallery. She does also do paintings mm -hmm. and drawings, but uh, this is one of her recycled pieces where she has taken three yeah. shovels and welded them and made them into a Thunderbird piece of yard art. <laughs> yeah. You could have that indoors, too, but I think you that could. would be great by a front door. Yeah, it would be, just be darling. Ah, we're back to oh. the doors and oars from two years yeah. ago. This looks like one of the original doors that we uh -huh. had available. At least it's very similar. And Barb Haliki is showing us adorable treasure. She has painted the panels, of course. Yeah, I like that. it's nice. Yeah, nice very. Colors. Mm hmm Deb Babcock again. Um, this is her made from mud number one. Again, beautiful designs. And let's see, let's see if we can turn it around for you. Oh, look uh, at this! Pretty. Little cutouts here. Cutouts. Oh gosh. Different kinds of cactus. Yeah. Palm tree. Oh, isn't that darling? Nice, huh? Oh, beautiful. Really nice. An artist, Claudine Nichols, is showing off her dry media skills here. And here she's saying that maybe this house looks a little trashy, perhaps. It's got great potential. That's the name of her yeah. artwork. Um, all ready to be rehabilitated into a, a lovely little cabin. This she really has nice... She oh, does. She's a pencil artist. Okay, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. This well, is this one so is a showstopper, cute. Stopper, isn't it? It is. It's just darling. It's so colorful. It's fun, and it's a really good use of recycled materials. <laughs> you can see where the bird is, you know, recycled, and the dish, and mm -hmm. all kinds of stuff. Um, I think this, this really would make a nice little bird feeder. 
And yeah. that, that is uh, what it seems to be saying it is. Come Get It is the name of uh, it, and it's a mosaic by Joyce Flower, who is our mosaic instructor. She has done a couple of uh, workshops, and um, she always has a good turnout because people learn how to make these mosaic patterns. Yeah. And um, she usually has them either do a, a, a small chalkboard or a small mirror similar to that one that we saw from Sandy Cooper. Okay. I don't know if Sandy made that in a class, but she and Joyce have worked together on various mosaic projects. Yeah. It, it's just, and it's a, a shovel. Colorful. Very colorful. Yes, it is a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> this is cute. This is cute. Jean Wench again. Um, imagine going from the abstract to something so refined as a tiny yeah. wood carving. Jean is getting very good with her wood carving. She has shown some uh, ducks, and here she has a little um, owl. Uh -huh. well, I don't know for sure what kind of owl I don't, would be, I don't either. <laughs> it's called Hoots Recycling. So uh, Jean is really coming along with all of her different forms of artwork, and this one is especially cute. I love the face. I do too. Own. It's a, a whimsical face. Here we have a couple more items and these would be our last uh, entries in the exhibition of uh, the com competition this month. Uh -huh. um, this one is called Made from Mud 3 again by Deb Babcock. A rabbit on the front, yeah. palm tree on the back. And cactus. Cactus. Yeah. And That's the fun part, you know. I mean, it's you just turn it around. You get you get a little weary of one side. You turn it, and turn there's it a around. whole different base. And great colors. Yeah, great. Colors. I love it. Kelly Beeson is also a potter, and she has entitled this "My Trash for Nature's Treasure." I think she's referring to her trash as being her piece of pottery. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly does some very fine pieces of pottery, but I think this one was kind of done to hold these nice little rocks that she's yeah. showing us here. Oh, that's cute. Beautiful little rocks, beautiful little treasures, uh, shells, things that she picks up that are mm -hmm. nature's treasures. All right. Well, thank you very much, Linda. And this is kind of a small exhibit, but so well worth it. Um, the time to come down and see it all because it's so fun. And also, people can vote on their favorite. Yes. Uh, this is a People's Choice contest as well as having um, other judging of the pieces. So I hope everybody will come in before the reception mid-month and make their choice of the one okay. they like best. Well, and not only this exhibit, but we have a lot of, I'm not going to go through all of them, but there's a lot of other art also that's not part of the uh, contest exhibit. So, you know, there's just a lot to see here at the gallery. And we're going to go back and see Geraldine Zarati, who's the Artist of the Month for January. We're going to do her video here in a minute. So there's lots to see and do here. And thank you very much, Linda. Oh, thank we you. We appreciate it. Thank and you. And we'll see you at the monthly reception. All right. Okay.